All right, let's see. Are we all in frame, though? Yep. Who's going to zoom that shit in? Yeah, you guys, I'm going to... Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Duchette, you have the Diva, Average Troll Murko's back there, and we have this bottle of beer. It's Firestone Walker's 17... 2013 vintage. Yeah, you want to hold it up? No, I'm going to hold up the bottle. Oh, fuck the bottle, man. Fuck your bottle. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You don't want to. <laughs> All right. This is getting go. awkward, boys. So. <laughs> Camera diva. I'm just making sure you're getting it on. That's all. You know it's on a on a pivot and it can move. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> 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 Fucking Americans. That's what oh, they call panning, Joe. Whatever, bro. You want to oh, right. What the fuck is? You, you must read, read all this. this. You should now. probably let Aaron or, or you read it because <laughs> we're not reading this. Not allowed to crack the beer until you No, just read. The, uh, just read what each beer is going to. Uh, it's vision of behind our anniversary ale program. So the components: Bravo, thirty percent, Sticky Monkey, which is a. An English barley. Okay, so the first Bravo is an Imperial Brown Ale aged in bourbon and brandy barrels. Thirty percent of that, twenty-five percent Sticky Monkey, which is an English barley wine. Fifteen uh, percent Velvet Merkin Asian bourbon barrels, which is the oatmeal stout. Fifteen uh, percent Parabola, uh, which you know everybody knows what that is. Eight percent Double DBA. People know what that is. Four percent Hell Dorado, which is also Asian bourbon brandy barrels, a blonde barley wine, and three percent Wookie Jack. Black Rye India Pale Ale. Holy moly. It's quite the rap sheet. This is yeah. Stone Walker's 17th anniversary. Oh, and it's 13.3% alcohol by volume. I forgot there's Firestone. I thought it was just Stone. Keep <laughs> <laughs> trolling already. No, there's no trolling. There's uh, no live that trolling. Even started. That's mine, right? Yep. <laughs> He's Whoa. Like, Whoa. Not so high. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I can smell it already. I can smell Joe already. Joe Mama? Don't, uh... Oh, man. Well, she's dark. Listen, I, yeah, thought, I not, thought the punter not, wasn't going to be here. It's not black. black. It's not black. Oh, God. No. But it's, uh... If you hold it up to the light, you get some ruby. Oh, there's, yeah, you're right. There's particles. Yeah. I don't know if that's particles or a lot of bubbles. Oh no, you're no, right. There's particles. Like, there's particles. Like, there's there's like sea, suspended. Some sea Those are particles. Yeah, there's, there's, suspended suspended there's a tiny touch of it left. Maybe maybe we'll let the someone else take it. Head is uh, you know it was there. It's dissipating relatively quickly now. Wow, you are right. There are particles, but that's a beautiful ruby red. Yeah, this is the yeah, head. Super nice. The head looks so nice in this glass too. But you're right, it does dissipate. But it's the oh the snap crackle pop. I love it. Oh, it is. Wow. Oh, that smell. Interesting. Well, it actually ch smell started off like a little... Malty. Very malty. Yeah, very malty. Super malty. The double DBA comes out. Yeah, which is that's quite a lot. Of caramel. But actually oh, just... I would say definitely more on the... Uh, mine started out that way, and then it actually just sort of started to go almost like a little bit of a sour fruit smell. I, well, they just say Bravo is an Imperial Brown Ale, and Sticky Monkey makes bottle. up over half of it. Smell it out of the bottle. Oh, it just smells like an absolute malt bomb beyond belief. I'm not... It's from the not seeing a whole lot of difference, but then again, that's just me. Well, the bottle, I'm just getting straight butterscotch. Yeah, it's a lot sweeter. Oh, I'm getting tons of butterscotch. I'm telling you, it better not be more. I'm getting that now. Yeah. But, I mean, the biggest components of this... Are an English barley wine and a brown. That's like fifty percent so. of it, right? Yeah, yeah, or fifty percent. I mean, this, this and another fifteen percent of it is in an oatmeal stout. So anything yeah. when it comes Let's to try this, it's just it all amazing. It's yeah. all Cheers. Oh my god! Butterscotch, chocolate, toffee, uh, fruits. I'm getting apple and pear. Oh, Aaron, why couldn't you come later? <laughs> this is. Yeah. The greatest start we've ever had here, yet <laughs> there's nowhere to go. It really isn't at this point. But it's that, not as heavy as I thought it would be. No, mm. not at all. Exactly. The warming is nice, which I get a lot of. In the gut, but though, still, not really in the back. Yeah, still no, no actual gut. alcohol burn. No, no burn. Nothing through the nose. I, I'm not, I'm actually surprised. I thought it'd be maltier. 
Uh, yeah, I, I thought it would be, be too. I, you know, I thought it'd be a little stickier. Do you but find it, the, the background, lighter? I do find yeah, it a lot. the that background is thing. is just roasted yeah. malt. Yeah. Like right now, I just taste like roasted malt. I, actual, I'm getting like spent grain roasted. Yeah, malt. Yeah, and it's leaving like a dryness on the back yeah. where I thought yeah. it would be just just nice and sweet throughout, very malty, and it just that dryness kind of because of the malts. I guess I, you know I. Again, I'm not looking through it. I, I keep forgetting what this is made up of, and it makes sense. I don't even care what it's made up of. Yeah, yeah. it does feel like it, it leans barley wine and I don't care what it's made up of, but it, it's interesting. I, I, I'm, you know, what I but think yeah, and then what getting, I'm reading. Getting, like, oh, okay, yeah, the yeah. biggest components are what you're getting the most of. You're getting the brown ale, you're getting the yeah. double DBA, and you're getting... You're getting the parabola to an extent, yeah. too. Like Sticky you are monkey, getting some, right? Sticky monkeys. I've never had that, so... English barley wine, so... Sukaba? I think I think Sticky Monkey was a brewery only re- like at the brewery and I maybe bottles oh, there, recent. but I think they're actually releasing it in 2014. The bottles for distribution, but I could be wrong. If Jameson watches this or by some chance, Sti- there does the Sticky Monkey made about, with no. Mexican turbinado sugar, or brown mm. sugar. Mm-hmm. That's so. This is actually really, really, really good. It is, really and it's good. great. I, again, we've had this is the best startup we've had yet. I do, but. I don't know how you guys feel. I know you were thinking malt, and you wanted malt. I like that there's a nice roasted characteristic on the back yeah, end, and there's I a nice dryness because it makes it more drinkable for yeah. me. It does. Yep. It makes you want another sip. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, that's what I've been doing is just drinking on it because as it dries off, I you know, I get that, like, man, I just need to put more of that in my yeah. mouth. But when I go back to the nose, and I've seen malt, I, specifically, I'm getting, do you guys get, like, oatmeal? Like, yes. an oatmeal stout, yeah. like, right off the, you know. So the velvet merkin on the nose is... Then when I say malt, that's why I should have been more descriptive. Mm-hmm. Like it's odie. Like, it's that's what I, you know. But then when I taste, seeing it, the like, velvet merkin like is another one I haven't had, so I don't. I might be tasting uh, like if I had it, I'd probably be able to pick it out better. I, but mixed, like I'm picking out the stuff I've had yeah. first and foremost, and then I'm getting other random weird things like that drying, drying malt on the background, which is great for me. Mm-hmm. But what what beer put it in there? I don't know. It could be the merkin. It could be the uh, the barley wine. It could be anything. Right. I, I don't think I've had a beer that has such a dominating butterscotch component to it for me. Mm-hmm. I I mean I've get I've gotten butterscotch. You just had, really? you just had Utopias. Yeah, yeah, but but that wasn't dominate. That <laughs> wasn't as. And I've had barley wines that, that are much more as, butterscotchy than this. Heavy for me, not. And, and I think part of it has to do with the body because it's thinner and I think yeah. The if, this was, if this was heavier, it would cover your tongue more. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. it's just a natural association is butterscotch. Sticky. Was the ABV because somehow they made like a 13, super, super drinkable thirteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this is a very very dangerous beer. Yeah. Yeah. Gee, I'm not trolling yeah. you tonight, bro. Not at all. I am. I know. I'm not getting orange candies, though. I will say no, that. No, no, no orange candies. So, uh, out of ten, fellas. Chad, you. Nine, seven, five. I would give it a ten, except they're never going to be able to make it like this again. Because it is a mixture beer. How many of these have you had? Or eat any of you? I've not had no, that. Not, not I have the, him and I, uh, you and I have the 16th, and I have another bottle of this that probably age. Um, on the untapped scale, I would go <laughs> five stars, which would translate to a 10. Don't, um, don't forget to drink social, fellas, and females, and which everybody is, else. Exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's worth a 10. The only reason I'm giving it a 9.75 uh, is I, I think I'm going to go a 10 with it because... One minute, Aiden. If I were to check it in on tap, five stars. So, yeah, yeah. this is, for me is a 10. Um, it's a 10. No. I, I'm a, It's okay. I I don't, I don't want... It's not bad. Uh, I don't know. There's something about it. It's very lackluster for me. Yeah, what don't you like about it? I don't know. I was if expecting I more. I was expecting more. It would be the the body. Exactly. Yeah. That really took yeah. away yeah. from no, me. Like it's it's so thin. I, I was, I my expectations maybe were too high. But actually, that's. I it, like when big anniversary beers like this. When I see these, I want it to be a big, multi, think, sticky, sweet. See, not overly away. sweet. What do you think like about sticky. an age on this though? Maybe an age would help it out. I don't know about that. I. If, it, I, it's if so I gave this an eight, away from it, eight would be generous. It makes it so drinkable. I don't know. It's not. This one is just. I don't know. It's not. It's not hitting the, on the hill. You know. YouTube, I said I wouldn't troll Guy, but uh, the diva, doesn't anyone surprised at this right now? Was anyone seriously surprised at this? What do you think? So what are you giving it? Uh, he gave it a half point I, for the fancy I glasses, then. You can go lower I, if you want. Well, we, we the, won't kick your yeah, ass do now, what it, <laughs> but when the camera's No, it's, it's a good beer. It's really good. I mean, if I, it's, I, if I gave it a 7, that'd be, I don't know. So I'll say 7.5. Okay. I really, it's, it's just, I don't know, for me, it's just, I don't know, it's not working. 
different different palettes. I guess you don't yeah, like. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go. I I'm gonna go ninth. Uh, right. I, I really, I really do enjoy it. Uh, I like the fact that it is a little bit thinner and the carbonation is there. The roasted malt because it makes it drinkable yep. for me. Much more drink. I like, didn't I like I, that aspect at first. After the third yeah, drink, yes. it was working for you. Me. Know what? If I did the have... snap crackle pop, I'll give it an extra half a mer. So it's up to an eight. <laughs> Just because that was cool. She started with an eight. What, I, I talked it down. Monster. I wanted to hear. <laughs> it sounded really good. I mean, a nine, a nine seven five, a ten, an eight. Is there a dance for like 